Here at GTRI, we have a focus on radar in our laboratory, and what we'd like to be able to do is show that this can be extended into the medical arena, and that it has a very real applicability to the concussion diagnosis scenario. Concussion is a uh, mild traumatic brain injury, and it can be caused by a variety of things, usually a blow to the head. For example, in sports, football players who have been concussed uh, multiple times and these repeated concussions are really something that you want to avoid. We have a radar set up here that we are able to have an individual walk towards and away from the radar and then be able to pull in the data from that and be able to look at them with our signal processing and image processing techniques. What we're trying to accomplish is to quantify the differences between a normal person's walking gait and someone who has had impairment due to a concussive event. We were able to find research that related concussion impairment back to the impairment somebody exhibits with a certain level of blood alcohol content. And with that, we were able to purchase blood alcohol content goggles, which impair your vision. We have the individuals wear these goggles and walk for our analysis so that they have the impairment as if they had a concussion. The person walks normally towards and away, and then the person walks normally while saying the months of the year in reverse order. Once that's completed, they put on the impairment goggles and walk as normally as possible with those. And then after that, they complete the same task, but also saying the months of the year in reverse order. We found that if you combine the ability to look at someone's motor skills with their cognitive skills, that you get a better indication as to whether they've suffered a mild concussion. What we're looking to do is to make this a little bit easier of a diagnosis to make by removing the need for special clothing or reflective markers like you would uh, typically see in a lot of gait analysis centers. One place that it could be used on the military side would be if you have a commander who needs to decide whether somebody who's been near a blast sustained a concussion. And by using this, he can get a kind of a stoplight indication. Yes, they should be able to go back no, or it's kind of uh, up in the air and they need to seek another opinion on the matter. I think the big picture that we're trying to give to others is that there is a way to be unobtrusive to an individual. That way we can help prevent future successive concussions from happening too closely to one another and, and hopefully stop other neurological problems that come along with having these multiple concussions because you are not fully recovered from your original.